Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. My name is Doug and today we are going to go over this really cool feature in QuickBooks, uh, a report called the Audit Trail Report. Um, this is really handy uh, when you need it. It's not something you may use very often, but when you need it, it's great because what it does is it uh, lets you go back and look at the history of transactions, look at when it was created, when it was modified, if it had been deleted at some point, and even tells you who did it. If you happen to have multiple users in your QuickBooks, it can tell you who did what to the transactions. Um, you know, this is great if you've ever reconciled a bank statement for one month, and then all of a sudden one day you find out that it doesn't balance anymore the previous month that you had already reconciled. Typically that means either a transaction in the, in the previous month had been changed or it was deleted. Uh, with this feature you can go back and see exactly who deleted it or changed it and when and how they changed it. So uh, that's great. It's great for uh, if you have multiple users especially because it will tell you exactly what user did what to any transaction and when. But it's great too even if you're just one user in QuickBooks by yourself you can even see if maybe you accidentally deleted something or changed something at some point that you didn't mean to. You can go back and look at your own audit trail and see when you did it. So I've put in some transactions here uh, and made changes to them ahead of time. So we're just going to go right to the report. If you go into reports and accounting and taxes, you can go to the audit trail. It's going to bring up the individual transactions like this, and then it shows the history of those transactions. So let's look at the first one here. Uh, the first column here shows it was when it was entered or modified. This is a bill. Um, in this particular company file, their their current year is, is 2018. So I made these uh, transactions here on 12-15-2018 uh, and this shows you when each modification was made. So they were all made the same day, but you can see that they were at different times. Um, it shows you the user who made the changes. Um, in this case there's only one user, admin, but if you have multiple users you can see that admin created it and Peter changed it and Lucy changed it again and then Donna finally deleted it. You'll be able to see all of that right here. Um, this just shows these line items here where they are in the life of the transaction. So you see this is a prior transaction or prior modification, prior modification, and finally it was deleted. This date is the date of the actual transaction. So again on 1215 I, I created the transaction but I dated it 11 1 2018. So this is a bill. It was written to Connie or Connor Garden Supplies. Let me clean this up here. We don't need all this. There's no memo. Uh, gives you even the count split here. So it was a bill. So it went to accounts payable and cost of goods sold, and it was for five thousand dollars. So that this is the initial transaction that recorded the bill. Then this is the modif first modification. Again, it was only done 30, 20, 30 seconds later. Um, when I did it, but we scroll across and we can see what changed. Here is the amount. And you can see it's in bold. So it was changed from 5,000 to 4,500. We go up to the next modification, which was done a little bit later, and now we see what's in bold is the, is the uh, expense account name. So it was originally booked the cost of goods sold, and then I changed it to job expenses, job materials. But the amount stayed the same. And then finally, I went ahead and deleted it. So now it's gone. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you can't bring a transaction back like this once it's been deleted. If I double click on any one of these things, it just brings up a blank transaction. So you can't actually see a transaction has been deleted. But if you did need to recreate it for any reason, you have pretty much everything you need here to know what account to book it to, the amount, the date, everything like that. Let's move down to the next transaction. I also entered in a check. This one, uh, check 1464. I entered with the date of uh, October 10th for Gusman's Nursery, went to the checking account obviously and then it was booked to Landscaping Services Job Materials for $975. So then the first modification here, let's see we go over here and we see in bold the, the actual change. So what was changed was the date. The date of the actual check was changed from October 10th to November 10th. So that was the only change. Now if I want to double click this, I can still open it because it is an active transaction. It's still there. It, it, once it's deleted, you can't go back and look at it, but uh, as long as it's still around, you can look at it. And you can't go back and look at the old 
version of it it's still only going to show you the most recent version but you can still see it so this is helpful too again maybe you reconciled October and everything was fine and now all of a sudden it's out of balance uh, and it doesn't reconcile well if someone went in and changed the check that you had cleared from October 10th to 11 uh, November 10th then it's not going to reconcile anymore so this is a great tool to go in and see who made changes when they made the changes and what was done if, if things are just not out of whack that you know you had in place before you can go through here again it's great because it shows you who the users were that, that uh, made the changes or who recorded the initial transaction um, and if it's just one user it shows you what you did it just goes through your history and shows you what's that so hopefully this was helpful again it's a, not a tool that you will use a lot but when you need it it's very very helpful so uh, if you like this video make sure you follow us on YouTube uh, that way you'll get uh, emails every time a new video gets posted and uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all those great places. Thanks.